A Perth father says he's being refused life-saving cancer treatment because of WA's coronavirus isolation rules. Adam Carline claims he should be undergoing radiotherapy but is instead being forced to self-quarantine after returning from crucial surgery in Sydney. Adam Carlion was healthy one day, the next had a seizure, was diagnosed with terminal brain cancer and told he'd be lucky to make Christmas. The most stress I've had on my life and um, in particular because of the kids. Determined, the father of two sought out renowned neurosurgeon Charlie Teo in Sydney. He performed an eight-hour surgery to remove both tumours, giving the finance manager a 5% chance of surviving the next two years. Far from great, but far better than before. On Wednesday, Dr Teo texted, you must start either chemotherapy, radiotherapy or both ASAP. Do not take no for an answer. Your radiotherapy should have started this week. But after Adam Carlion claims he's been refused that treatment in Perth, required to home isolate for a fortnight after returning from interstate. Each day that ticks away, I see, you know, a 5% chance of survival turning to four, turning to three. Turning to two. He says he's so far been robbed of five days of potentially life-saving therapy with another week of quarantine to go and rogue cells left behind after surgery doubling every 16 hours. My uh, goals are short at the moment, so Christmas, um, a, a snowboarding holiday next year with my family. And a coronavirus test done this week came back negative. This is exactly why we have exemptions. This is exactly the type of case. In a statement, Sir Charles Gardner Hospital apologised if Mr Carline was advised his treatment wouldn't begin until after self-isolation and said instead it's been scheduled for a later date because it's normal to wait at least three weeks to allow for post-surgery healing. Dr Teo's sense of urgency seemingly ignored. I just um, ask others to put themselves in my shoes. Renee Henry, Nine News.